What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel guys we finally made it to the mustang arms museum here in north carolina and we've got the gt500 we've got pony we've got gearhead 704 and we've got the white car and look all this cars it's not even time for the event to start and they are already coming in and coming up in here i think it's going to be a great turnout guys and looking forward to it this is day one of stampede after the storm pony what do you think it's gonna be on it's gonna be on cody huh? matt how you feeling buddy I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. You need some evidence of your eight-second pass, and I lost it. I lost I've it. got it. I've got it. Right. I've got the evidence. Take a seat I will, on your channel. I will. I will give you the footage also. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Awesome. All right, guys. So, let's get in here. Here inside the museum, and all these cars are owned by Mustang owners. These are their personal cars. So let's go check them out. So this one right here, when I first walked in the door, I recognize it, and this is, of course. The 2009 Iacocca edition, 45th anniversary. You've all seen the, the commercial where it's in, he's in it, driving it. This is the car, so that is pretty sweet. This is beautiful, guys. It's something different. You notice the bumpers flush. Uh, then you, I mean, the, of course, the uh, quarter louvers. I mean, just everything about it. This right here comes back further into the trunk. I mean, it's just a beautiful piece of artwork. I can't get too close guys, you know, but I can reach my arm over, but absolutely gorgeous. All right, everyone, uh, this right here, you can actually win this car. You can buy one ticket for 20 or three for 50. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's a sign. And you can actually win this car. Are you gonna win it? You're gonna win it, aren't you? I knew you were. Well, you know I'm gonna buy a ticket. I'm here, I'm gonna buy a ticket. 347 Stroker out of a 95 Mustang GT producing 400 horsepower. TKO 655 speed manual transmission and a 373 gear in the rear. But it's a 1970 fastback, guys. Who does not want to own a 1970 fastback? All right, guys. I know you've seen this car in magazines and everything like that, but this is the car with the lightning engine with the turbos. Supercharged lightning motor with turbos. It's crazy. But I could go through here all day and showing you this, but uh, we're gonna get out here to the other cars. But if you want to see a pretty detailed walk through this museum, Gearhead it was 704, your idea. it was, it was idea. my idea, but yeah. you live here, so I you were, you came and done. Actually, I told you the idea because I actually wanted to see what was in here. Is that why? Well, yeah, exactly. It and it, and it, and it works. That's awesome. Yeah. But guys, go check him out, Gearhead 704. He's got a video of all the cars in here. And there's some that you did at the time that are they're gone they're now. Gone now. Yeah. So 
That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, one of them is an awesome GT500 that looks old school on the outside, but it's got the new modern drive track. Yeah, and that's the one I was looking for, and it's yeah, gone. Yeah, it's gone, unfortunately. <laughs> I wanted to see Check it. Check it on video, guys. Check <laughs> it on video, guys. So, uh, guys, let's get back out here. All right, guys, we have more and more filing in. It's going to turn out to be a good turnout here, guys. Guys, if, if you're watching this channel, you probably know what we're looking at here. This is a comp orange convertible Cobra, and uh, 2004 Cobra, and it is... A very, very is the rarest of the Cobras. So there's actually one where I live, uh, and I talked to the gentleman. But uh, is this yours? Yeah, yeah. I'm Doug. Nice to meet you, Doug. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name, little fella? Cooper. Cooper. Nice to meet you. What's your YouTube channel? Speed Addict Seven Three One. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was telling them that's this is the rarest of, of the Cobras. It is. Yes. Yes. It's awesome. Seventy-two. 72, 72, one of 72 one made. Of 72. The tag one. says, tag says one of 72, and it's one yeah. of 72 convertible, comp orange, Cobras. Dude, beautiful car. So, appreciate it. Beautiful car. Appreciate it very much. I've enjoyed it. How long have you owned it? Uh, four years. Four years? Uh, four years, yes. Yeah, got it in 15. Yeah. They're extremely hard to find. Yes, yes they are. <laughs> There's a gentleman where I live in Jackson, Tennessee, that actually has one. Really? And he was at the gas station pumping gas, and I was like, dude, Come on. This is hard to find. You actually see one, and I've actually got to see two, so this is awesome. Yeah, that's true. There aren't, there aren't many around. I know a few in North Carolina, um, but not many. Um, I know there's a guy in Raleigh who has one. Um, there's a guy in, um, let's see, it's up near um, Walnut Cove. Mm -hmm. who's actually putting one back together that got totaled at Mustang Week two three years ago i think it got rear-ended when he was stopped and i mean it was destroyed it was it hurt broke my heart when i saw the pictures it just broke my heart and um but he's he is laboriously laboring over this car to put yeah. it together and and he the guy that wrecked it sold it to this guy and this guy has been actively putting it back together it's just been a very long process and but i haven't seen it in in years but uh i've, I've messaged with him a few times and he's still working on it so he that's, hasn't given up so <laughs> that's well, awesome though because i mean there's only 72 of these so the you know one gets wrecked ah can we bring it back <laughs> exactly exactly and you and you pretty much know the ones that are nearby because there yeah. aren't that many around and if you happen to see one you definitely meet the person because you haven't because you, you won't see another one. No. No, that's why I was, I was, I was thinking I've seen two. You know, it's rare to see one, and I've, yeah. I've got to see two, yeah, so I've that's pretty awesome. I've seen more than most, um, but I've only seen probably four. Yeah. You know, and, and yeah, I'd say I've probably seen about four. Um, so they're, That's uh, awesome. They're hard to find. Well, but, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. Right? Yeah, monster baby. There, guys, guys, look at this. Pony just said something. I walked by and I thought about it. I was like, I'm not gonna say nothing to guys. This is my favorite. I, actually, I'm, I need one right now. <laughs> but it's, it's like my favorite white monster. But this is awesome. There's a lot of people filing in. I'm sure they'll be coming through all day. Guys, look at all these celebrities. Look at all these celebrities. We got Gary and Demon Fox 50. What is going on, man? Nice, nice to meet, nice you. meet you, man. Finally, we get to meet. Yeah, finally, we get to meet. All right, yes. we got a car coming here. That's a nice place to play, Yeah, it is. Lots of places says too loud, guys.
Look who finally showed up, Caleb. Now, I got to talk to this gentleman here. He's a subscriber. I know. He doesn't watch your channel. I don't care. He doesn't like you. That's, I've already met him. I've already met him. <laughs> that Mustang's coming in and out all day long, all over. But these guys win the uh, long distance award. You are from Norway, and you are Thomas, and you are Alex. And he doesn't want to be on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they came all the way from Norway. They actually watched my channel, which is amazing, and Fox uh, Cast. So, well, you watch my channel. You watch Fox Cast. <laughs> they come last year to Mustang Week also. Yeah. So, and they're back this year, and uh, they're having a blast. And then we got John Deere over here. If you're in my, if you're in my live chat, he pops in from time to time. He's got that 99 Cobra, which we're gonna go look at here in just a minute. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So this is his 99 Cobra. It's a, you got an Instagram? CO Taylor 16. CO Taylor 16. But it is a 99 Cobra. You just got these wheels on it too, right? Recently, yes sir. Last week. That's awesome. Oh, he's got my, look at that. He's got my t-shirt right there. Oh, that's my little bit of advertising. That's what I'm talking about. People are starting to leave and they're coming and going, guys. But still has the tail lights. You know how many of these I see that they've taken the tail lights and Swap changed them out? GT? Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, why? I love these things. And the one thing I like about them is, yes, the 0304 Cobra bumper looks amazing. I'm not, we're not going to argue that. But the 99 to 01 Cobra, you can't get these anymore. No. You can't get these anymore. And they are just, I like them. And you can't get them anymore. Only thing you can get is like the Cobra R. Cobra R. Maybe you can cut the bottom off. I haven't tried it yet. So you got any plans for this? Uh, get the front and rear bumper repainted and get a Terminator rear bumper for it. And get it retinted and kind of leave it like it is till I boost it later on. Okay. The engine boost it. I noticed there's a, another 99 Cobra up there that's got a Kenny Bell on it. Yeah. We're going to go check that out in a minute also. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, they're starting to file out of here. And then when I, once I start, they think they're leaving, they more come in. It's been like that all day long. All day. There's a couple events going on today, so they're going back and forth, which that's awesome. Give people uh, alternatives. So let's check. This thing right here came in a while ago. Said it was uh, Gen 2 block and heads with a Gen 1 intake, didn't he? Or intake cover. I can't remember. I think so. But he said it was when it was first done, it was done with a Gen 1. And uh, Schrader Performance did it up here yeah. in uh, Gastonia. And it, guys, if you look in there, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it's a manual. It's a manual. Uh, yeah. MT82. MT82 with a coyote. This thing is just awesome. As of course, we got the Roush blower. Mm-hmm. Familiar? Yes, very familiar. I miss it. I love the GT500. I wish I could have both. That's the main thing. I wish I could have had both. Sailing. Old two valve with a Mm-hmm. Then we have the Edelbrock. Edelbrock, that blower is hidden down there. That's but it's in there. Valve. It's a three valve, yeah. And then we got a silver GT500. And then looks like a 99 I'm pretty sure it is. with a Kenny Bell and no it's not the, the hey he hadn't done the cover conversion this is the Kenny Bell for the 99 cover. that's what you need right there this just relocated the alternator yeah. inside because mm -hmm. it's not down there it's sweet of course there you go guys I'm gonna give him a shout out since I'm filming this car there's his Instagram that's funny I'm pretty sure I followed him on Instagram do you? It's a good chance. And it looks like he's got anniversary seats in it. Anniversary? Yep. Front and rear. Yeah. So he's changed those out. This is a sweet car. Still got the tail lights. Oh, he still has the tail lights too. But it is a 01 rear bumper though. Yeah, it is. Maybe it's, it's got the Cobra a, no, in it. It is an 01. It is an 01. Oh, yep. Yes, yep. It yep. It is an 01. If he's from South Carolina, I'll follow him. So yeah. There you go. Guys, they are coming and going. Like I said, it's kind of it's in the evening now. 
uh, had to get a bite to eat and then sit back and talk to a few people but uh, they have been coming and going all day long big turnout guys I'm very very happy all right Gary 704 and his wife miss gearhead 704 we're gonna call her mrs gearhead 704 but uh guys look at this table look at this this is uh professionalism at its best That's and i know i know you wasn't behind right? that i had nothing to do with this at all <laughs> i know it had to be her she set me up we gotta have the woman's touch that's right and it does and it does because if i had some look you got that side of yes 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 because me i would have just like a white table and like my shirt's thrown on it and like no sign just like how much and what well, no 15 20 you know something like that marketing very professional i love it love it that's love why i put it in the thumbnail sometimes too for marketing because they don't want to see my face as much. <laughs> well i agree <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to agree that quickly ken <laughs> hey you know it is what it is <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> all right guys we're here with jimmy one subscriber for the channel he came out today and you brought us this is actually a 2011 california special it's a county special 2011 uh strike delete package on it uh, doors lock here but i call it the uh ken jr ken jr <laughs> it's a gt not a gt 500 strike delete like i said then it's you know a cali special car and it's a manual oh, gotta yeah. love it gotta love it california special ah. so what all is done to it just the uh this, it just has a uh, cosmetic mods Mm -hmm. Got a uh, Bassani axle backs on there. Okay. My plan is to put some, you know, long tubes and next pipe on it. Probably change the core there. Uh, let's see what else. I mean, just a few minor things that I think the car would need. As far as uh, catch can, you know, just minor mods. Because, like I said, I, my main focus is on that SN95. I don't want to put a whole lot of money into this. Because I want to start working on the other cars. You, said, you said the magic word for my channel. SN95. Whenever I bring up SN95, they get excited. And I tell them, eventually it's coming. Don't hold me to it, but eventually it's coming. When the right one crosses my path, it'll happen. And then, don't, don't know what's going to happen to it, but I kind of want to get the 500 where I want it first. Because oh. I get multiple projects, and I get squirreled. I don't know which one to put money into. <laughs> well, I'm starting my channel. It's Wild Stain. And as Ken said it, he's uh, looking for an SN95. He's looking for the right one. He better make sure he has the right one when, when I catch up to him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The one. Uh-oh. Sounds like I need to get busy. Hey, it's, I mean, it's going to be a work in progress. When I get the channel going, you guys check it out. But I'll definitely get it where I need to be. And I'm going to call him out right now before he even try to edit. Ken, calling you out. Okay, and what? What? Why you want me to run? Not the GT500. Not the GT500? Whenever you get your SA95 together, I don't have anything for that GT500 just yet. Okay. So you're going push rod and SA95? Push rod. That's what I'll end up going with is a push rod. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I, I mean, I love the Coyote platform. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. But I just like the torque of a push rod. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. But well, based on that, it's a nice little cruising car. Very, very it's nice. Not shows, but that's, well, not even shows. I mean, it's, it's my daily when I drive it daily. Yeah. Guys, it's very, very clean car. And it's white, so it's a white S197, so what's not to love? Exactly. <laughs> well, man, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. you got an Instagram? Man, I don't have any. You got to get you an Instagram. What? And remember, I told you earlier when I was trying to figure out what's going on with uh, Mustang Week. Yeah. And I have to sit home and wait for you guys to post a video because I, I don't do much social media. I got you. And it's crazy because I'm, I'm a small business owner. You would think I would have yeah. Facebook and all these other things, but I don't. So but you I definitely. So do you catch about this event on my YouTube channel? I saw when you went live. Okay, when I went live, yeah, you saw it. Exactly. Okay, so I was trying to figure out when. You, yeah. Exactly. So you know that's the reason I try to do Instagram, YouTube because sometimes people will catch a video. Sometimes they're at Mustang Week, they're not catching the videos, and so you you try multiple platforms. And we were trying to promote this event and get it out there so everybody knew what was happening. Exactly, and actually I was in the process of uh, starting up an Instagram account and I was talking to my wife about it and then that's when I started looking and I saw live, I said, man, I know he's going to say something, I'm going to start Oh, of course, right now. of so course. Worked out perfect. We've been live like, what, three times this week? Hey, 
and I greatly appreciate it. And now we're now we're so busy with these the past couple of days, like we haven't been able to go live. We thought we were, and it just got busy. Like uh, we're not able to. And then like I got the videos recording, and I'm like I'm not gonna be able to put them out because it's either it's either uh, record and edit and miss stuff, or it's just record, 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 and then you edit and get it all out there. So exactly. yeah, but I appreciate you coming out, man. Appreciate hey. it. I'm telling you, you guys saved my weekend. And thank you for the support for the channel, hey, as always. Guys, we got a Pantera over here. Uh, let's look at this thing. Of course, the engine's not up here. If you know a Pantera, the engine is right there. These things are cool. First time I've ever seen one in person. Yeah, the same for me too. I've always dreamed about them seeing one I'm like man I'll never see one yeah and then bam yep just awesome Alright guys, this event is about to wrap up, but we're going to be headed to the Harrisburg Cruise in here in a few minutes. But I just want to take time to thank Jen for actually helping us put this together. She's the main one behind the scenes doing everything and getting everything coordinated for us. Yeah, so. it's been really great to work with Ken and Jeremy and Matt. Um, you know, it's really, the power of social media is amazing. And these three YouTubers have really brought it out for us and made this event um, what it is. So Stampede After the Storm wouldn't be anything without them. We really appreciate all their help. And thank you for all your help. We're going to get out of here. But if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.